there at 40 feet, you got to get pumped up into this tank, into the pump in. I'll show you the empty tank. There's a pipe that comes in to the center well, and it kind of comes up and kind of goes over. The solids settle to the bottom, which is what we want, and the solids that settle to the bottom, that's the primary slurry, and that gets pumped into our tank. settle down and you don't want that. You want it to settle in the primary tanks, but here you want a complete mix. You don't want you don't want it to settle. So I'll show you the, the protozoas that we want. We want to make sure uh, like in the summer they'll grow really fast because the temperatures are warm. In the winter they don't grow quite as fast. So we have to do certain adjustments to uh, to make sure we have a good crop of bulbs that are going to grow. Inside of the tank over there and then it I don't have an empty tank to show you, but it actually, the water kind of, those walls right there, they only go down a couple of feet. So they actually, the water is coming in underneath like, like this, and it comes up and it, it travels like this way, and it goes out that way. So it takes about three hours actually for, uh, that, for the water to, to get from like over there to over here. It's like three hours, we call it detention time, so it's like a three hour detention time. This is the clarifier, empty. Yeah, this is the settling tank, like the primary. The solids are going to go to the bottom, and the uh, liquid is going to flow over the top. bottom they're gonna get pumped out to the thickener and then this is what's going out to the stem. We have four aeration tanks. The one on the end I won't, we won't bother going through but the one on the end is almost twice the size as these smaller ones. We usually only have three going on at once. Sometimes in the winter we put four on. The ducks really like it. I don't know why the ducks 